Many people on the internet love to say that WordPress websites are outdated and that the new platforms is where it's at. They believe that WordPress websites all look the same and are not custom. And there's even some influencers who promote this message. But this is simply not true anymore. This was true in 2015 when we were limited with what themes had to offer. But now today with modern page builders like Elementor and Bricks, you can create any type of layout. You can add crazy animations if you want with GSAP for example, or you could even add some crazy 3D effects with a platform like Spline. So WordPress has evolved, but these people's view on WordPress has not. And many people who use modern page builders inside of WordPress, they know this. And they also see these people saying that WordPress is outdated and some people were done with it. So they built WP Mate. Yeah, it's a website that I found which displays modern looking websites made with WordPress, whether that's with Elementor or Bricks or uh, Gutenberg. Here you can find truly custom designs and it is really cool to look at. So I was very happy when I found this website because I also get a little bit annoyed with these people online that say that WordPress is outdated because it's just not fair anymore in 2025. So in this video, I want to take a look at seven of the websites that I found on WP Mate, which are really cool and really custom. And so I hope this video gets a million views so that after this one, nobody will ever say anymore that WordPress websites are outdated because it really depends on the page builder and the skill of the designer and developer. So let's dive into it. The first website that I want to take a look at is from Knut Studio Made in Bricks. So let's open it and see. Wow, that's an introduction. A 3D hand, very nice animation. Uh, let's start scrolling to, wow, explore. That looks super, super custom. This is an agency that has gone all in on showing what they can do in terms of custom design and animation. Look at that. Does that feel like an old WordPress project to you? And not to me, this is really custom work that's very clear. Uh, oh, I'm clicking on one page right now. Wow. So I'm scrolling. Wow, look at that. This is truly an experience. Wow. I am impressed. I just saw the home page, but now even the sub pages are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, this is really cool. This is really cool. Even the mouse animation, they really went all in on the details. Look at that. <laughs> it's just fun to scroll through. Incredible, incredible work. So let me just quickly open the inspect to see if this is a GSAP website. Yeah, so they use Bricks and then Bricks Forge GSAP. So Bricks as the main page builder and then this one on top of it, which then integrates GSAP into the builder. Very cool project. Let's go to the next one. Second one is Fletch. Wow, look at that. The menu is interesting here at the top. It just shows all of them in a vertical way. That is cool. We have scrolling animations right here. This one is less intense with the animations, but the design is truly custom. This does not feel like an old theme at all. Very nice. Let's click on one more page and uh, then we see another truly custom design. Wow. Really like this style. Oh, but now that I think about it, you guys probably also want to see the mobile version. So let's go back to the home page and then open the mobile version of the website. Let's refresh it. All right. So also as you can see, fully optimized for mobile. Can we scroll through these tabs? Yes, we can. Very nice. 
yeah, perfect on a mobile phone. Let's also go back to this first website and also check it on mobile because I know you guys want to see that. All right, on mobile, it's always a bit harder to create truly custom designs, but that's the case in every builder. It's simply because you don't have a lot of space to work with, but it looks good as you can see, still cool animations going on. Okay, now let's move on to the third project, which is arcagroups.us. They design spaces, houses. Wow, look at that. That's a nice intro. Very smooth scrolling animations, video backgrounds. Okay, even the little lines they are animated. Can we click on these things? Yes, we can. My mouse is being followed by this dot, very smooth. Wow. Incredible work. I love these animations as well. So let's see what this website is made with. Okay, so this is an Elementor website. I'm not sure if they use some kind of plugin, but Elementor and GSAP is what they used. Let's scroll up and refresh for the homepage. Wow, wow, even that cool introduction on a mobile phone. Let's click on the menu, look at that. Wow, that's cool. The close button is right here. This is truly great work. Really love this website on a mobile phone as well. Does this one work? Yes, it does. They use a lot of space on mobile. You see these modern websites, they use a lot of space. They let you focus on one thing at a time. Okay, beautiful, uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, a Pilates studio. You saw that text animation from the beginning. Let's refresh it one more time. So the screen came down and then the words animate in one by one. Uh, let's start scrolling. Everything comes in quite smoothly. There's the marquee animation. We have a slider with blurs here on the side. Oh, I've never seen that before. That is nice. Also here, these little details right here, you see one of these dots become wider. These are the little details that show you that they really care because most of the time it's just a few dots. Wow. Incredible, very beautiful. Can we filter this? Yes, we can. I also like this panel. It's a testimonial slider, that's interesting. So they just put all of the photos of the people right here. And then the only thing that flips is the actual text. That is unique, that's creative, because most of the time it's just one panel for one person and then it moves to the next one. Uh, but here you see all of the people that have left testimonials. Very creative, very nice. You see all of their locations. Yeah, not as crazy as the other one, but a very proper custom website. Let's quickly check the mobile version. Scroll up. Also a very nice introduction with those animations. Let's check the menu. Wow, very smooth. Everything as you can see. What is this website made in? It is made in a bricks with GSAP and I see that they use bricks extras. So also a very nice project. Uh, let's go to the next one. A letter box. Smart lockers for smart development. Oh, hey, look, we have a scrolling animation. The images change. Wow, that's cool. A little bit distracting, but very cool. All right. Oh, wow. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Images going behind the text with a blur background. Huh. That's interesting. Wow. Okay, let's scroll. There's also a text slider. These text sliders are super uh, popular. I'm actually working on a GSAP tutorial for Elementor uh, to make this because it's actually quite easy to do inside of WordPress. Okay, some text effects. All right, the rest of it is pretty simple, but uh, this feels very custom, this website, even though it doesn't have a lot of crazy stuff. It's actually just a website for lockers. <laughs> you can make it really cool, as you can see, because this is probably what they sell. It's just a locker system, uh, but they made it 
into a very interesting lo looking system. I don't know why all of these images are here with shoes. Oh, maybe because that's what you put in the locker. So this is often the problem with these highly animated websites is that it's more about the coolness of the website than the actual content. And I think this is where a lot of these influencers that promote these 3D websites, their advice falls apart because many of these 3D animations, they distract from the actual message of the website. And so the conversion is not always that high. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, many designers are a bit selfish and they care more about the likes that they get on Dribbble uh, than the actual conversion for the client. So that's always what you have to keep in mind when you hear these people talking. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is El Elcora. Let's refresh it again to see the animation. Okay, very subtle animation. Uh, we're gonna scroll. There's some nice scrolling animations. Wow, that feels custom. There's videos playing immediately. Beautiful. This feels like an experience, this kind of website, which is perfect for this type of website because they're doing luxury escapes. Okay, so then you can go a step further with animations. The slider is just doing its thing. There's subtle scrolling animations in this image. You see that? These little small details make it feel really custom. Wow, beautiful. Very nice as well, the way they display this and the logos. Wow. Oh, Ubud, that's in Bali. I've been here. Wow, that's beautiful. Let's check out this item, the Ritz Carlton. Oh, they designed this? This is one of the most luxurious uh, hotels in Bali. In a beautiful location. You can go to this bar here. This is where I've been. The hotel itself was a bit too pricey for me. But you can go to the, to the bar at the top. It's incredibly beautiful. Okay, these items are a bit basic. But hey, here again, you don't need 3D, right? In order to convince people. Uh, this probably works. They want to read about the place and they just want to see beautiful pictures. Uh, even though this sub page could be a little bit more interesting in my opinion. But it still feels very custom. This does not feel like a theme at all. All right. Very, very nice. Uh, let's also check this website on mobile. Yeah, here you can see that you're you're basically limited on on mobile. You can they could have done a little bit more effort to make this image, I don't know, overlap on the right and then this one a little bit on the left. But on mobile you are more limited, but I do think they could have done a little bit more effort to get it to the level that you get on desktop. Okay, here it's better, you see? A little bit of overlap to make it feel custom. Yeah, but again on mobile things become a little bit more challenging to make it custom. Uh, let's check out the menu. Okay, full screen menu, that's always nice. Okay, let's see what this website is made with. I already can see Elementor right here. I have a feeling that they're also using GSAP. No, they don't. So what are they using here? E-animation. Is that an animation framework? I don't know how they did it here. Maybe it's just a built-in animations from Elementor because we don't see a lot of super crazy stuff here. I think the stuff that they did right here, you can do with Elementor. I know you can do these parallax effects. You can do these uh, fade in, you can do sliders. So this is probably just the default Elementor website. I feel like it. But yeah, another very cool example, don't you agree? And now let's go to another one, uh, which is a company called Rice. Pen your own rights. I really like this rotating video uh, button over here. Uh, wow, everything fades in pretty nicely. Here I think the strength is the design itself and not so much the animation. It looks like they have made custom illustrations over here. The way they did the background is really good here. Backgrounds is where many designers, they mess up a little bit because the backgrounds are then distracting. But here it's done very subtly. They are not scared to use colors for the background. What is this? Oh, an interactive element. That is also cool. Can we do something with this? Yes, we can. 
Okay, so here we see some information about that specific state. Very cool, and there's also sub pages connected to it. Let's try, volunteer. Okay, then we go to the volunteer page. Yeah, yeah, okay. You see right here what they did with the backgrounds and the way that the images heavily overlap into the next section. They did the waves well here. On many websites, waves become uh, cheap, but here they did it with taste. You see little details right here, like this border. And that's why I said that it really depends on the builder and the designer. Here, look at the little detail with the logo. Yeah, these little things just make me really happy. Uh, let's also check this website on mobile and then let's see what it's made with. All right, that looks fine. Let's open this. Okay, that's the menu. Pretty simple, but fine. Let's scroll a little bit. Animations all still work. Yeah, this one is now big. That's all great. Let's see what it's made with. Okay, it's an Elementor website. They don't have GSAP, so it's probably just the default Elementor animations. And one thing that also caught my eyes, and many of these websites have this, and that's accessibility. That's becoming more popular. And I think that this is the Elementor accessibility plugin. So you can increase the text size. Oh, wow. So for people that don't have good eyes, uh, they can play around with the settings grayscale. Oh, for people that don't like the color so much, increase the contrast. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, look at that. So that's an interesting thing that many of these websites add this kind of thing. And I'm pointing this out because this is typical of WordPress. WordPress is not just a website builder or a CMS with a page builder on top of it. It's a platform that you can extend. You can add these kinds of things to your website, which are often not available on many of the new cool platforms that people always love to compare WordPress with. And with that in mind, I wanna show you one last bonus project because where WordPress actually shines is in dynamic content. So that is content that's connected to each other. Uh, search websites with uh, lots of posts. So for example, I found this website, which is a, a house website for houses in Ghana. Uh, so first of all, the website looks really nice, but here you can see that they have uh, houses and those then connect to sub pages, which then display more information about that specific house. Wow, whoa, see that animation, very cool. And it's not just the front end because this is probably easy to edit for the clients in the back end of WordPress. Because I know how these kinds of websites work because I made them myself. This is where WordPress shines. It makes it really easy to edit the website for clients. And it looks very nice on the front end because you can make it fully custom if you use a proper page builder and you have design skills. So I hope that this video reached some people that still think that WordPress is in 2015 where we only have limited themes. It's not the case as you can see. Just use a proper page builder and upgrade your design skills and then you can make truly custom work in WordPress at any kind of functionality you want on top of it because that is what WordPress is all about. You can do anything with it, whether that's simple design or crazy stuff with animations and 3D. So send this video to your friends who say WordPress is outdated because then he will never say it again, hopefully, <laughs> okay. And I think this is a good moment to do a little promotion to myself because I do actually sell a course where I show people how to design better WordPress websites with Figma. I believe that if you want a truly great design, you need a great plan, you need preparation, and Figma is still the place to make that happen. So that's why I made a course around this so that you know what to do. You can guide your client, which reduces feedback and your results are just a lot better. You can find a discount code for this course in the video description. Email subscribers will get a discount for this course. You can find the link to that in the description if you're interested and you wanna learn more. Okay, that was a little promo for myself, but in general, I hope this video inspired you and made you aware that this is all possible with WordPress. Maybe it will be fun in the future to check out WP Made again when they have new cool stuff on their website. So let me know if you want that and then hopefully I will see you in my next video.